incredible stories of survival in Southwest Florida after Ian. A senior today getting to reunite with the teenagers who saved his life after his daughter posted his plight on social media. Local 10's Rosh Lowe is live with their emotional reunion. What a story, Rosh. And what a moment it was. And let me set it up for everyone out there tonight. I'll step out of the way for a moment here in Naples. And you can see this scene is a scene we're seeing throughout Southwest Florida. People trying to repair their lives, clean up the damage of their lives, both literally and figuratively. And then we heard about this story of an 87 year old man. He's in five feet of water. He can't get out of his condo. He calls his daughter. They actually tell each other how much they love each other, not knowing if they'll see each other again. She desperately goes to Facebook asking for help and her prayers were answered. Heather, this is the first time that you're you're seeing him. What do you want to What do you want to say to him? These boys and Whitney, Whit, I mean, they are they they saved him. Heather Donlin is grateful. It just shows, you know, that the goodness is there. During the height of Hurricane Ian, her 87-year-old father Jack was trapped in his condo. So Wednesday, in the middle of the storm, spotty cell phone service, and Heather knew her 87-year-old father was in trouble. He asked for help via text. Standing water, winds too strong to get out. It's at that point, Heather desperately posted to Facebook asking for help, and her angels were sent. Meet Whitney Murphy and her two sons, Luke and Colin. They responded. The wind was pretty strong going out, so I couldn't open the door at first. You can see the waters they had to traverse. In fact, the first time they tried, they had to go back, but they returned. Jack was in over five feet of water for nine hours. The smell of diesel was so strong. I got like, like a boat tending rod, and then I used that like as his cane. They were able to rescue Jack. And at the height of the storm, Heather, who lived several miles away and was also taking on water, didn't know that would be possible. There was a moment where we tried to just make sure we knew how much the other loved each other. Glad to see you. Hello. And now for the first time, Jack meets his angels. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for them. Destruction all around. But there's also embrace after embrace after embrace. Oh, yeah. Gratitude <laughs> for more time talking about and life. <laughs> And that's what Heather told me today. She said, you know, this makes her realize just how valuable time is, how valuable life is. And she wanted to share her story because even though many people here are struggling, she wants people to have faith in the human spirit that even in the darkest of times, there is light and that light is kindness. We're live tonight in Naples. I'm Rosh Lowe, Local 10 News.